Caddis Maximus here, a little late with the video. I usually upload videos about the same time every day, but sometimes I'm a little bit late. This does happen to be an older set of fractional MIT drill stop collars. They're really nice ones of these where they're actually split and then they have a screw that <laughs> where they're split right here and then they have a screw that comes together. But these things have been around literally for decades. And they are super simple. Actually, I'll pull out the, I believe is the eighth inch, kind of tight in here. I haven't done many videos about MIT. They're like a cheap tool brand that would sell a lot of tools to, you know, kind of like independent hardware stores, those kind of places. Just kind of, uh, you know, basically competing with companies like Great Neck and that type of thing. Just a bunch of random budget tools. They'd have ratchets and socket sets. And then they would also have other things like these drill stop collars, which appear to be nearly impossible to get out of the package. Of course, they come in both metric and fractional. The fra Like a seven-piece set would be eighth-inch, three-sixteenths, quarter-inch, five-sixteenths, three-eighths, seven-sixteenths, and half-inch. So the most common sizes. These are definitely older because they have slot head set screws more modern ones that are this style will have um um hex set screws and then once again really nice premium ones will be split on the smaller bits you spin them pretty fast these tend to be pretty well balanced one of the reasons why they're so big is just to help them perform their stopping action now these can if i can keep this in frame can damage drill bits because if you just want to drill a bunch of holes about this depth you have to run the set screw down and of course you're running the set screw down onto the flutes of the drill so it's kind of hard to get it in just the right spot like so but this is just the whole point of these things is if you you set a measurement screw these down so if you want to drill a bunch of repeated holes Say, for instance, you're screwing something to a piece of wood from underneath you're using really short screws. You want to make sure that you, in your pilot drilling, but you don't want to go too deep, you do something like this. That way you could just drill your series of holes. They all be at the same depth, and that's simply the whole point of these things. They're just drill stops that go on to the drill bit itself. Not something that's used particularly often, but they can be handy, and there will be those situations where you're like, oh, I need to drill several holes, and I want them all to be exactly the same depth. And this just makes it really simple and easy. You just drill until this hits the surface. You want to be a little bit careful so you don't, the face of this doesn't actually damage the surface you're drilling into. But that's all they are. They're just little collars that lock on the drill bits just so you can have particular stopping points. They tend to fit pretty darn tight. You can, of course, use these on slightly varying sizes. You'll just get a little bit more wobble, but it's absolutely fine that if you're using some kind of fractional size, you just find whatever collar is the tightest that will fit. You don't; These don't have to be used only with the specific sizes, such as 8th inch or 3 8 inch. They just happen to fit the tightest on those sizes. So anyway, that's my little video. This MIT set seems, you know, just fine. You know, they're cheaper tools, kind of rough cutting, that type of thing. Not super great consistency among all the collars. But there's certainly a bunch of different brands of these. Some of them are 30 40 50 bucks a set for really premium ones. But for something that's used pretty infrequently, something like these old MITs, will be just fine for me. And I can't believe, I I think I've done a video where I've talked about drill collars, but I just could not find it. So end up running in, and I couldn't even find my old set. So I ended up running into these and decided to do a video about them. And they are super handy when you need them. Anyway, thanks for watching.